get done is a book by Jeffrey Gittimer. My parents bought this book for me. They told me, read it. That was December. I feel like they were trying to send me a message of some kind. I didn't read it. Now I have my my reasons, mainly because I, I didn't want to. And according to the back, he's an author of the New York Times bestsellers. The Sales Bible, Little Red Book of Selling, Little Black Book of Connections, and Little Gold Book of Yes. I like when they say New York Times best-selling author. That's how you know they're good. It's not like every author in the world has a New York Times bestseller. Buy the book. That's basically what this back cover is saying. If you want to do something, buy this book. You know, you want to get something done? Buy the book. That's the key. The key to everything you know and love. All your greatest hopes and dreams? It's this book, dude. It's this book. If you couldn't tell, I don't like self-help books at all. For most people, they are a waste of your time. A general rule of mine is to limit yourself to one self-help book per lifetime. Now I'll explain why I think you should never read more than one. Uh, because they all cover the same thing. Get Shit Done is about tackling procrastination uh, and doing things. It's very obvious that's exactly what it is in here, and this is going to tell you how to do it. I read this, I'm gonna know how to do that. But the thing is, I read a, a book called uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And which this this book is actually very much ripping off in its uh, title format because after that self-help book came out, there were a whole bunch of little like, were books that motivate you. But you see, what's quirky about them is they have the word shit in the title, okay? That's yeah, that's how you know they're good. I'm sure anyone who's going to be looking up a book review of Get Shit Done has probably already read many, many self-help books. I think after after the first self-help book, you're wasting your time because you already know everything. These these self-help books are created to feed off a sense of lacking in your life. <laughs> they're there to fill that hole that doing something that you actually want to do does. What this book is telling you is that you need to read this book before you can do the thing that you want to do. You don't know how to do anything until you read this book. You know what, you don't know how to do anything until you read The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. You don't know how to do anything until you read The Sales Bible, Little Red Book of Selling, Little Black Book of Connections, Little Gold Book of Yes Attitude. If you don't read all these books, dude, what are you? You're not gonna be successful. You can't be successful. You didn't read Get Shit Done by Jeffrey Gittimer. Jeffrey Gittimer is known for being a business trainer and a self-help book writer, okay? And if I know anything about business trainers, uh, business trainers and self-help, the industry, that's not gonna help you. That's not what you need. What you're looking for is not gonna be within these pages, all right? The first self-help book you ever read gave you all the information you will ever need to live a productive life. Buying another one isn't going to solve your marital issues, Karen. Your marital issues will be solved with therapy, not with another self-help book. I honestly believe that your time is better spent reading a good book, like The Phantom Tollbooth. I would say broaden your, your, your story palette. Don't read another self-help book. If you're looking for a review of uh, Get Shit Done, you already got it. You know, this book, not worth reading. <laughs> Zero out of 10, haven't read it. I wanted to make a review of the book, and you know what? I took inspiration from the title of this book, and I got shit done. If you're looking to better your life, this is not the way to go about it. You already know what's in this book. Anyone who's read more than one of these already knows. Page 100. This is the Get Shit Done 100 Year Old Formula. It's called the Five Point Rule. Self-confidence, enthusiasm, working with a chief aim, performing more service than you are paid for. Concentration. Like, duh. If you want to get anywhere in life, you gotta believe in something, you gotta work to it. You know, you gotta have a goal in mind when you when you work on things. I mean, they're so broad though, like concentration. Dude, you wanna be successful? You gotta focus, man. You gotta focus. Yeah? 
I've, I've been focusing pretty hard right now. I'm focusing, I'm focusing on you. Am I getting anywhere? Is my life better now? Is my bank account six figures yet? <laughs> like, that's, there's more to it than that. In here, sure. First book, first self-help book. Now there are better ones, but you can take that one, read it, never buy another one because you don't need it. You don't need it. You only need one, one self-help book per lifetime. People buy self-help books in the bookstore because they went, whoa, look at it, get shit done? You know, I would like to get shit done. There's plenty of things that I do, but I, you know, I'm just so busy. Maybe this will help with that. Well, that's what you're thinking. You buy that book and then you, you don't read it. Or you read it and you're like, wow, this changed my life. And then two weeks later, and then you're, you're back there, back in that bookstore, you're looking around, you're like, do things fast, the book? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy Do Things Fast, the book. That's gonna help me. That's gonna change my life. It's not going to, dude. A self-help book will not help you be happy, which is the reason why you're looking at a self-help book. The amount of time it would take you to read that book would be better spent going on a walk with your dog or talking to somebody who you haven't talked to in a while, like your, maybe your grandparents. Go talk to them instead of reading the, uh, this book. That is a good use of your time. Yeah, okay, that's it. I'm done. Get out of here. Man. Go. Get out of here. Actually, I gotta plug some shit.